Like, oh well, I just made wolf. Like I'm playing all wolf. Not everyone like has a bunch of counterfeit characters. Yep. Okay, so Big D locking in the Ice Climbers and of course Proto and Ham locking in the Inkling. So get to see something a little different from the Lucina. Oh, for sure. All right, so we'll see. I mean, I, Inkling definitely a very safe character. Um, and I, I feel like Inkling kind of can be a little bit more explosive, so maybe a little bit better at separating the two climbers. Um, and I mean, ever since Melee, the, the strategy against Ice Climbers is divide and conquer. That's all how you have to long. do it. I mean, that's literally all it really takes to get to dub, but it, Jeez, it's almost bro. like a little bit of a bait, too, because, you know, we see some very scary just solo climbers, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. Sopo ain't nothing to play with sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, w when you get destroyed by Sopo, it's also a big hit to your confidence, bro. It like, is. it's demoralizing. It, it's actually. Oh, there's the up tilt. There's the desync. Um, Ice Climber up air, probably one of their. I mean, it pretty much got buffed in terms of area. You know what I mean? It's, it's such a big move. And there is the separation. Can you save Nana? Yes, Ooh, you can. Wow, beautiful from Big D. But as he sinks to his Ooh, death, yeah, no double jump there. I really would just like to, to pick uh, Proto's brain on why he's going with the Inklings. I, I, I've honestly never seen him play anybody, but we've seen him. Okay. Personally. Yeah. You know, I didn't. I didn't know he had a secondary like this. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I've definitely seen. I've, I've seen some of the Japan streams. I've seen him bust it out okay. against certain characters. Okay. Awesome. So awesome. Definitely not something that is a Kongu Saga exclusive. Right. 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 I feel that. I feel that. I mean, if he had the scouting report on Big D too, like he knew, like it was Ice Climbers, it kind of makes sense. Like. Right. Right. And I mean, Big D recently defeated Zachary. That was that was his biggest win this season yeah. at Main Stage. So you already know Zachary kind of had a talk with Proto Band Ham. Was like, oh, Big D, yeah. Definitely yeah, I mean, he climbers. rebounded pretty well, came back in one big house. So I don't think Zach Ray was too down about it for long. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? but, but definitely Big D's best. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Outstanding. Not a, not a lot of people can be like, yeah, I took a set from Zach Ray. Yeah, it's, it's not typical talking here, but a very even. even game. Yeah, not it up. Look at this desync neutral as well. I mean, we, we see a lot of this desync in um, Brawl, actually. The Blizzard was such a great move in terms of area control, especially with the, when you combine it with the short hop and you desync it. So it's like one ice climber, short hop, Blizzard, then the other one, short hop, Blizzard. Or you desync them like that and kind of mix in the uh, the, uh, the projectiles as well. Um, it can be pretty hard to deal with. Absolutely. But the splat bomb, and maybe that's what Proto Banham wanted. He wants that projectile. He wants that safe, you know, commitment into the climbers. Because I feel like with Lucina, one missed space aerial and could be your soul, right? That's could true. be the stock. At least with Inkling. And true, I feel like with Inkling too, like you kind of get the benefit of knowing, like, okay, well, when I do kind of separate them, I'm almost able to strike fast. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can go deeper. Like things just kind of work out. A little bit better. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like uh, Inkling can, I mean, obviously just has much better of a rushdown, right? Because Lucina is the character which is the epitome of spacing. Like, right. I'm keeping you away from me. I want to play at the mid-range. And that's how Lucina and Martha played for years. Oh, grab. But can you close out the Sopo right now? I mean, Big D just needs to get back on the stage, which he does. That side wow. buff, and the up air almost takes it. Oh, he gets the air dodge bait, but really good drift coming out from Brodo going to the left there, but throwing him off stage to the left as well. Can you recover? No, you can't. Oh, yeah, man. I have to kind of blow that kiss up there, trying to get the recovery, but nah, man. The back air just meeting you, but the immediate strike back from Big D. Keeping things very close, man, and already 16% on the board here against someone at Proto's caliber. It just really goes to show that that win on Zachary was no fluke, if, yeah. if anyone ever thought it. Oh, attacking uh -oh. on uh -oh. this damage, though. Yeah, this maybe maybe Inkling wasn't the right call. I don't know, man. If, I mean, if he takes the L right here, I could imagine that Lucino will make an appearance, but... Bro, this it, big D... Oh, here's the desync ledge trap, though. Wow! Oh, he almost gets the wow. forward smash! That was almost so godly. How did that not hit? But the up smash, you're going to grab Popo. Nana's going to strike you back. Shouts to Big D, man. Does not shrink under pressure and able to deliver a very impressive first game victory over Proto. If you guys Ooh. haven't noticed in the player cam, Big D is a very, very tall individual. Yes. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw him at uh, way back in Genesis 3, I was like, whoa, yeah, first time you I saw are him, I was tall. Like, what the hell are you playing Smash for? Go get a rebound for me. What, <laughs> what are you doing out here, man? <laughs> like, <laughs> Basket go, basketball got way more money. Damn, man. <laughs> but definitely glad he stuck around because he is definitely a very entertaining individual. And just I mean, one of the nicest guys around too, man. Oh, yeah, he, he's such a sweetheart. And, I mean, if anyone knows about the NBA, it's going to be a what NBA what 2K. I'll tell you, know. man, uh, this man could have gone out there and get, made some money. Oh, yeah. All right? But you know what? All these bum centers out there now. Don't get me started on NBA talking. Damn. <laughs> <laughs>
But you know what? Like the most of us, uh, this Smash thing, definitely the passion project. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Love Smash. We, we love it to death, and that's why we're still here. For the people. Until it puts us in our grave. <laughs> our early one at that. <laughs> but we persevere. Yep. Much as you see in, uh, oh, okay, Big D, obviously sticking with the Ice Climbers, but Frodo just going to change the stage up a little bit, still with full confidence in the inkling. Uh, got to right. imagine this has got to be maybe matchup specific as to why he's still going to stick. Yeah, I mean, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's, like, a very good Ice Climber main in Japan. Uh, Japan, definitely known as a region that will take very obscured characters to, you know, really push the meta. Yeah. So um, I, I just wouldn't be surprised if Frodo is very experienced in this matchup. I mean, he just... Wow, 72. That was insanity. Look at this desync on the ledge trap as well. Where are you going to go? Proto has to go all the way to the top platform and reset. He was trying to pick up exactly where he left off in that first game. Man, and Big D it just knows how to control both of them so well. Great directional air dodge to the right. That would have been the stock for sure. Or at least a very bad situation. Definitely would have been the stock. I think he would have definitely lost at least. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Speaking of loss, there it is. I, dude, it's crazy because... Remember they showed, like, as you do a throw, Nana can't, like, do anything? Yeah. But, like, he definitely just threw and forward smashed. Well, that's because they didn't show Big D playing. Oh, there you go. All right. All right, and th this is great for Big D. I mean, when you get the first stock, it's fine. Because Sopo can do damage. It, it, it can just be tough for Sopo to take the stock without the help of Nana. So, right now, I mean, at this point, Big D's like, all right, cool. Like, I'm just going to chill out. I just, all I need to do is rack damage and not get hit. Right. Okay, up throw, up air. Nope. Not going to happen here. Ooh, with the spot dodge, up tilt, up air. Big damage coming out here for Big D just on the Sopo as well. Woo. Okay, offstage situation here. This is where the Sopo can suffer. Yeah. And right there, Proto knows he wanted to drop down and do something fishy, so the back air was there to meet his doom. He charge up smash. Yeah, and look at that. He had the other climber to yeah. cover it. Exactly. It was all, I feel like he was, he was just trying to bait him to go over there. Yeah, yeah. Because he knew Nana had his back. That's, that's the cool thing about I, I just feel like in this game, climbers are so interesting because it's not just like chain grabs or wobbles. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I feel like you, you have to be so much more creative with them in this game, which is probably why we don't see them as a very common character. You know what I mean? Like it's, We only really see like a couple, a handful of players really able to bring this character out for tournaments. Yeah, it's not like a cheap or jank win as, as this character is often described in other iterations of Smash. You know, it's right. a lot more creativity, as you said, goes into it. And I think there's the decent concept as well. Uh, to me, just makes this character way more interesting to watch. And and EE, e., we and might be pilot. witnessing yeah. we might be witnessing the very first big upset of this tournament. Like we said, Proto Banham, the last time he competed in American Soil, he got top eight at Evo, the hardest Smash tournament yep. to date. If he got taken into losers bracket this early, we are still in pools, ladies and gentlemen. Well, keep in mind, uh, I, actually, uh, Leia actually got upset it earlier. Or if you want to call it an upset by uh, uh, Pandaren. Okay, yeah, okay. So that happened as well. So, wow. You know, Japan obviously coming in droves, coming in numbers, a lot of strong players, but not as invincible as Ooh. you may think. Big D breaking it down. What are you blocking right now, Proto? Because it's just going straight into the grab. Big D with all the creative desyncs, and he's forcing him into block and then getting grabs out of it too. And we've already seen what Big D can get off of grabs. This is crazy. Okay, gonna get both climbers here. Yes, up B to the ledge. What's the ledge trap, man? And Proto just can't really sink the nail in the coffin right now. This this second stock with both climbers. He hasn't even been able to get rid of Nana yet. Not at all. And, and this percent is continuing to build. Really big D. His, he has no reason to have to. He doesn't have to push his advantage at all. He understands that. And look at that. The drift back on the side B. That move has very little lag. So we see Big D kind of drift back and kind of trying to bait Proto to try and punish it. But Proto knows. Okay, here's the separation. Uh, it's a big old wow. air dodge. <laughs> okay. He he air dodged for Nat. He did that. Like that's crazy. Yeah. And he didn't air dodge with the other climber. Like that is just immaculate ice climber play right there. Even not just being able to do all the crazy strings, but when you're in the disadvantage state, knowing how to use desyncing defensively. You know what I mean? Like that's so impressive. It tells you a lot about this. Oh my goodness! The back throw left himself wide open in big D. Wow. Well, I guess ink for him is just a fundamental. <laughs> How does he get away with it? 